Have you ever seen a viral TikTok and thought, wow, that's really awesome? This probably won't be anything like that. Don't wait for tomorrow. Welcome back to Dr. Squish. Today I am going to be trying my luck uh, with some viral TikToks. Specifically, like squishy TikToks. Viral squishy TikTok hacks. I don't know. I'm gonna be trying out some uh, cool things I've seen on TikTok. I have a TikTok, if you haven't ever been there. Uh, but I wanted to see uh, if I could actually recreate. Uh, I'm not claiming to be an awesome crafter here. We've seen that as evidence in the past, but uh, I thought that these were really cool, so I wanted to try them. Why not? Let's do it. You ready to make some TikToks? Let's do it. Okay, uh, my first viral TikTok squishy hack is from an awesome YouTuber and TikToker called Hello Mafi. Hello Mafi has an awesome YouTube channel, and she's also awesome on TikTok. So let's take a look at the first one I found. Okay, it looks like she has a diaper. It says it's uh, really easy. She's pouring the blue liquid in the diaper because we all know baby pee is blue. Uh, and then after it soaks up, she's taking all the yucky fluff out of, with a tongue depressor. She's taking all that fluff out of the diaper. She's cutting up a bottle. Oh, she's using the bottle like a funnel and she's gonna put all that diaper fluff in the balloon and that's how hers ends up. Very cool, I don't have the marble balloons. Okay, I don't have the pretty, you know, marble balloons that she had, so I'm just gonna use these ones there. It'll be fine. And uh, I didn't have blue colorant for some reason. I only have green. Yeah, baby peas can also be green, so. Don't ask where I found this diaper, but I did have one, so let's open her up and pour in the, 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 the liquid. Okay. What have you been feeding that baby? <gasps> oh, it's leaking. It's not supposed to do that. Okay, so if you're asking yourself, why a diaper? It's because the stuff that's actually in diapers that makes it absorbent is like this gel. It's also what people sometimes make cloud slime out of. It's like fake snow, you know what I mean? <laughs> that's weird, but it is. And so when it gets wet, it just floofs up into this absorbent jelly stuff. It's very interesting. Let's put it in. A squishy balloon! I think it is gushy enough. I mean, it feels very squid. Don't do this with a real diaper. You'll regret it instantly. Alrighty. <gasps> Look at all that gel. Yes. Why is she, was she using a tongue depressor? This seems like it would be so much easier to use a spoon. I don't, I don't know but it's a very pretty color. It actually matches my stuff, okay. She used a bottle, I am not about that, so I just have a big uh, funnel thing. She used a bottle as funnel. I mean, if you don't have one of these, asking somebody to help you, if you are not a grown adult uh, to help you cut the bottle, that would be fine, but I am gonna just use the funnel. Snap it on there and let's see if we can get some of this gushy stuff in there. I wonder if I can just dump it in or if this is gonna be a mistake. Come on. Okay, this is gonna work out great. I don't suggest doing this with an actual loaded diaper. Oh my gosh, Dr. Squish, I haven't seen you in ages. What are you doing this week? <gasps> I'm squishing diaper fluff down into a funnel. What are you doing this week? I mean, I think using my fingers on the wet diaper fluff is gonna make this so much easier. <laughs> I don't actually think there's any fluff in the diaper, it's just all in the neck of the balloon. You guys don't know how many uh, actual homemade squishies I've made. I don't think I've ever put diaper fluff in one, although it's surprising. I've put it in a lot of slime. Maybe I've put it in slime and then put the slime in the balloon, which was easier, but this is not too bad. It's going in there pretty good. <laughs> I used about half the diaper for one balloon, and so if you have a diaper, wherever you get that from, uh, I won't judge. <laughs> It'll make two squishies, thereabouts, I'm guessing. <gasps> Cute. <laughs>
it makes such a good squishy. Hello Muffy was right, and if you had a pretty balloon, I mean, this is pretty, but man, that is a great squishy. Highly recommend 10 of 10 diaper balloon. I don't know why I've never done that before. That makes a fantastic squishy. Look how good it worked, you guys. It's so squashy, and it's actually, I mean, in terms of squishies, it's not not bad looking. It's, it's awesome. Better than just a water balloon or something. Oh, that stuff's really soft. I don't know how long it'll last and all that, but if you have a good balloon, should be pretty good. That's a good squishy. Awesome. Okay, let's be honest. When I was gonna be testing viral TikTok hacks, I thought, you know, they, they probably wouldn't work. And I don't know why, I've, I had the diapers for Dr. Squish. I just thought, I don't know. I didn't think it'd work that well. All right, Hello Muffy has one more. Like I'm gonna do one more of her videos and it's actually a way to make slime that I've seen before but never tried. So let's take a look. Okay, and this one, she's using some Colgate. Uh, I'm just gonna use what I got. I hope that it doesn't have to be one kind of toothpaste. And she's just mixing up a good squirt of the toothpaste with some cornstarch. And it says in her descriptions that she's like making Play-Doh. So I've seen this recipe call it slime. I think she's being a little more honest and saying it's more like a dough, which that makes more sense to me than slime. And at the end, she's got this kind of soft, kind of really pretty dough. Definitely not slime. So I think she's a lot more honest in her assessment. So. Let's try it out. Okay, so I don't have the exact same kind of toothpaste that she had, but I mean, I just stole this out of Little Squish's <laughs> drawer. Hopefully she'll be, it's like crusty used <laughs> toothpaste. So I'm just gonna squirt a good squirt in there, whatever that means. I don't know if there's like a certain amount you need. That looks good. And then I'm just gonna start adding in cornstarch and mixing it up until we have you know, something. It's gonna make something. It smells amazing. Now I hate, I'm gonna tell you like a secret. I hate mint toothpaste. I don't necessarily hate mint so much. I don't love it, but I hate mint toothpaste. So I actually love this kind of bubble fruit smell. Oh, I think we need more. Here's what I want to know. Who figured out that this was a thing? Who was like, I'm gonna mix my toothpaste. I'll just dump it in there, I'm not measuring. I'm gonna mix my toothpaste with some cornstarch and see what happens to it. Okay, uh, well, it's definitely making a dough of some type. Um, in order to make it not sticky as toothpaste, I had to put a ton of cornstarch in it, like a ton way more than just a spoonful, which I could see she kept adding cornstarch. She didn't not show that or anything. So uh, yeah, but it just, it makes a dough. I mean, it just, it definitely doesn't make slime. I have seen this as a slime recipe and that is not the case, but she did say it made like a Play-Doh and she ain't wrong. It does, which is not, not uncool. Not uncool at all. And let me tell you something. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. You don't know how hard it is for me not to eat it. Blech. Don't do that. Oh gosh. Oh boy. <sighs> don't do that. So it tastes like toothpaste, which is not bad, but it definitely doesn't taste like bubblegum candy or something. But it made a dough. And uh, let me try and make it a pretty ball like hers was because I just have nasty fingers. Look how pretty, pretty little dough ball. Actually, that is a really fun recipe. If you got maybe some old uh, toothpaste sitting around and I don't know how, what happens to it, like if it dries out or whatever, but that's pretty cool. That would be fun to do with the kiddos if you have some or something or just with yourself like I just did. Two for two, Hello Muffy's uh, viral TikToks. Those were awesome. So let's move on uh, to a different TikTok. Actually, I need to go wash my hands. Okay, uh, I cleaned up. <laughs> so we are two for two. Both have worked out really well. So I, I would recommend both of those viral TikToks from Hello Muffy. They were awesome. 
So next we're gonna move on to another TikToker. It is Macaroon. Now, I've actually been watching Macaroon's uh, YouTube channel for many years. She's an amazing crafter, but she has got a very cool TikTok account as well. And I found some really interesting viral TikToks of hers that I want to try. Okay, so first up, we have a Beauty Blender Bunny Squishy. It looks like she's taking an old, dirty Beauty Blender and she's wrapping it in air dry clay. I honestly don't know. I think that has to be air dry clay and she's made a little bunny. <laughs> it looks so simple and so cute. That can't possibly work out that well. <laughs> I don't know, but it's super duper duper cute and I wanna make it. Okay, so uh, I found this Beauty Blender disgustingly filthy. Uh, back in the back of my makeup drawer. Uh, it looks like it hasn't been washed since the McRib was introduced, but uh, it looks like it'll be perfect. I'm not washing it because I'm filthy. Okay, and I have this, uh, it's called Angel Clay. It's actually air dry clay, like Daiso clay. It literally did come from a 100 yen shop, just not the Daiso. This is some of the softest air dry clay I've ever used. It looks really, it looks almost like bread dough. I mean, like if you've ever made your own homemade bread dough and it gets all bubbly. Oh, it's so soft, you guys. Okay, I actually have no clue what the rubber band in her video was for. <laughs> if it was necessary, I don't know about it. And I don't have a rubber band, so we're just gonna put this beautiful soft, oh, it's so soft, air dry clay around my disgusting beauty blender and we're gonna call it good. I know that I'm gonna need some ears. So I'm gonna set this aside for the ears. Okay, is this too much? Is it enough? Is it, I don't know if it's too much or just enough. Let's call it too much. Okay, let's make, first off, this is one of those times where I am not a professional crafter and I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna make kind of a ball. I'm gonna squish it flat on my table. I don't know how thick or thin this needs to be. I'm sure rolling it out would be better than what I'm doing. And then she just kind of wrapped it in here like a little dumpling. And then I'm just gonna start doing that. Like it's a, a dumpling, a beauty blender squishy bunny dumpling. I feel like this is gonna be one of those times where it's gonna look okay from the front, but don't turn it around. Actually, I'm gonna kind of roll it on the table and see if I can make it kind of flat-ish back there. And I'm almost positive that she had a Q-tip like a cotton butt. I ain't got one. And so pfft, I'm just gonna do this for his ears. This is just like a chenille stem and I'm gonna call it great. Okay, so we're gonna take this and just kind of divide it in half for the ear. I bent this over. Okay, and we're just gonna wrap it around and see if I can get it to make an ear type shape. I mean, between me and Macaroon, you can totally tell who is the professional crafter and who is not. I at least want him to have... <laughs> it looks like little corn dogs. You at least want your dirty beauty blender bunny to have, you know, equal corn dogs. Okay, I think they're equal. It looks like a potato. Oh my gosh, it is a potato. Donk his ears in. Right, since it's a bunny. I don't know why I thought that would go in more smoothly than it did. You gotta twist your corn dogs to make them go in your bunny. It's not equal! Shut your face! <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it looks fine. Don't tell me it doesn't. Meet the potato rabbit of your nightmares. I'm gonna take my teeny little brush here. And I have some acrylic paints. Now, this is air dry clay. It's gonna dry in the air. <laughs> it's finished. <laughs> it's amazing. It is very squishy, but it's not dry yet. Uh, this is air dry clay, and just for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to wait until it dries, which would take, you know, until tomorrow. So, uh, and uh, air dry clay in and of itself is not 
uh, sturdy? I don't know. So it would be squishy, but you couldn't like squeeze it. Not like this one. Stress toy. <laughs> what do you think of the rabbit potato of your nightmares? <laughs> it's amazing. He's actually kind of ugly cute, you know, and he's, she, I can do exactly what she did in her video. So she kind of did this number. It's not like a massive squishy toy, but it is squishy. The sponge inside is gonna be squishy and the air dry clay is gonna give some and it's just a round of squishy. So even once it dries, it's still gonna have about that much, about that much squish, you know? Like, that's pretty cute. I give that one about an eight out of 10. Uh, not because of anything that Macaroon did wrong, just because my crafting prowess is not that great. I do love this air dry clay though. Uh, anyway, <laughs> the last one I have up today is also from uh, Macaroon. But uh, before we look at the last one, I had a question for you guys. Pardon, I needed a little drinky drink. Um, so I want you to tell me down in the comments, what is something that you've done this week that you were afraid to do, but you did it anyway? You know what I mean? Like, where's a time this week when you kind of conquered your fears? Whatever it is, hugely, or just a small thing that, you know, maybe you just got over something. For me, I started an Animal Crossing channel on YouTube called Tonicky Junction, and that was huge for me because I was thinking like, nobody's gonna wanna watch that, nobody's gonna wanna see this old lady game, people don't care, but I like Animal Crossing and I like watching Animal Crossing videos and so I wanted to do it and I did it anyway, even though I was like super nervous and scared. It's, it's out there for the public. So what's something that you guys did? I want to hear about it. I care and I, I want to see what you guys did. Okay, last video of the day. Again, another one from Macaroon. She did something. I have seen around TikTok and it was shocking to me the first time I've seen it. So you guys may know, there's like this whole world around paper squishies. The first time I saw this, I was like, I'm sorry, what? What are you talking about a paper squishy to me? This squishy, paper not squish, paper don't squishy, no. But there's like a whole, you know, they, they cut out cute shapes, they draw on them and uh, they tape them, people tape them and they tape them together with like fluff inside and they make paper squishy, it crinkles. I, I don't know, I, I've never done it and I don't know that it sounds satisfying, but Macaroon did it with toilet paper and I just want you guys to notice the date on this video. It is uh, right at the beginning of March a year ago. Do you know what was going on with toilet paper March a year ago? Let's take a look at the video, okay? So she's making these cute squishies. She takes a square of toilet paper and folds it over. And then she just draws on it and then tapes on it and then tapes the edges together and then stuffs it with the toilet paper edges. Like there's nothing easier than that. Let's do it. I have the feeling whenever it's one of those couldn't be simpler videos, that's the one that's gonna give me the most trouble. Okay, so I have one piece of toilet paper and two pieces. It looked like in the video she did not have more than two squares and she folded them in half, I think. And then she cut like a circle, half a circle, I should say. You know your craft is gonna be good when your scissors are old and rusty and covered in squishy guts. Oh, it worked. <laughs> Durr, why wouldn't it work? I have a Sharpie here, but I just feel like the Sharpie's gonna bleed. Okay, and then she put tape on both pieces. I feel like this is where it could get messed up too. I have like packing tape. I don't know if there's like a certain kind of tape I'm supposed to use here, but. All right, now let's try and put them together. I don't know why I'm so nervous. It's like it's toilet paper, but for some reason, this is the one that's making me the most nervous. Okay, I'm gonna squish all the tape 
and I left a little hole at the top so I can fill it up with the squishy paper. Taking that way out of control. Let's, oh, it actually doesn't take much to stuff it and I don't want it to be really firm. So I'm just gonna put this in there and nothing else. Fold that over like that. And now what I'm gonna do is cut all that extra tape off. But I want to leave like a little lip around the tape. Like I don't wanna cut it right up to the um, to the toilet paper, otherwise it's just gonna come apart, so. And there we go! Uh, squishy it is. Um, you know, it's not gonna compare to this again, but like I said, there's like this whole world of paper squishies and it is cute. I don't think it's gonna have as much uh, hardness as like a real paper one was, that soft, soft toilet paper. And it's got a nice crinkle. If you're into paper squishies, I recommend this one to use. Well, look how cute it ended up. And uh, I mean, whoa, throw it around. It is squishy, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's squishy and it's actually not that bad. It's my first paper squishy. I, I just don't know what I think about it. Uh, so as far as the craft goes, 10 out of 10, it's a great craft, but uh, I don't know about the quality of the squishy. So here's my two macaroon squishies that I, I made. And here's my Hello Maffy squishy that I made and my awesome uh, dough. Oh, it's already kind of hardening up. So I think you could, I don't know, build something with it. It worked out pretty well. Everybody leave me a comment and let me know which of these viral TikTok squishy hacks was your favorite one. I think that this one is maybe my favorite, but for cuteness factor, that guy's pretty darn adorable. And uh, I don't care if he gets lost under the couch or the, the, the cat bats it under the fridge. I don't know. This is a really good stress ball though. So if you need a fidget toy or a stress ball, this is the one. All right, I hope you guys are having an amazing week this week. I hope you're having a great day and I hope that you are proud of yourself because I am incredibly proud of you. Leave me a comment, talk to me, let me know how you're doing, and I will see you on my next show. Bye, guys!